Younger, smaller, lighter, thinner, tighter, thinner, softer. It really works. With 75% of Facebook users in a recent survey unhappy with their body, it's not hard to believe that body image and self-esteem is at a crisis point among teenagers. We found new research showing 80% of 10-year-olds say they're scared of being fat. It's no secret most women struggle to feel happy with their bodies. Well, now a new Glamour magazine survey confirms it, and the numbers are actually a little troubling. 97% of women say they have at least one negative thought about their body image every single day. Perfection, I feel like, is something just unobtainable. So, like, it's, I feel like it's this thing that is prescribed to us as a way to like make us work as hard as possible to achieve certain things but in the end of the day I think per perfection like isn't achievable. Oh my body I've been trying to fix it I want to I want to just like be more fit but like I'm really insecure about it I've always been insecure about it since like I was little I was, I've always had comments on it and I just try to improve myself like for health and like self-esteem. I'm healing from an eating disorder that I had when I was 15. So body image is huge in my existence and uh, trying to move away from being a particular ideal that might not be my ideal. I have my friends who constantly talk about like wanting to lose weight, wanting to look thin. Oh my god, do I look fat? And like they're not saying outright to me that like your body isn't like the ideal, but in the way that they say it to themselves, they're telling, they're, they're telling me that I am an abomination, that I am wrong. The Battle of the Bulges, and here are some of the latest mechanized units on maneuvers, or rather, womanuvers. There's no way of like being accepted, like everyone's always gonna like point you out for something. Be thin. Um, now, lately, like, have a huge ass. It's usually, like, small waist, you know, bigger breasts, bigger butt. Um, there's certain hourglass figure that's not always super realistic. Everyone's different and unique in their different ways, and we're all different individuals. So I feel like there's no definition of beauty. I feel like you define your definition of perfection. 